Well, today wasn't terribly hot out there, but we are just beginning to heat up. We are right around average right now, 82 degrees in Spokane. We are seeing a few clouds out there, no winds in our area. In Coeur d'Alene, 81 degrees, a few clouds out there as well. Winds out of the southwest, 5 miles per hour. Today, we did reach our high of 82 degrees, our low of 55. You can see those temperatures right on par for where we should be. No measurable precipitation and not near that high of 103 degrees, that record high uh, set back in 1926. But we are going to be approaching the hundreds uh, in just a couple days here. Taking a look at our weather timeline. We're going to be hot tomorrow through Friday. Friday going to be the hottest day of the year and the hottest day in the seven-day forecast. But then we get breezy Friday through Sunday as a cold front makes its way into the inland northwest and cools us down just slightly for Saturday. And those breezy conditions going to remain, which means we will have an elevated fire danger as the those as that cold front moves through the area and then we get very hot again Sunday beyond in the seven day forecast expect temperatures for many of those days to be into the 90s taking a look we do have a fire weather watch that goes into effect Friday afternoon and will last through the evening on Friday for the Kittitas and Yakima valleys winds out of the northwest 15 to 25 miles per hour gusts up to 30 miles per hour we're seeing low relative humidity down into the teens below 20 and we are going to be seeing dry fuels across the area as our dry conditions just continue and we only see hot weather. Our satellite radar not showing very much activity right now as high pressure is dominating over the area that's keeping our skies clear and those temperatures very warm and we're only going to see that increase. Our current winds also very light. No winds in Spokane only 10 miles per hour in Moses Lake 5 miles per hour in Wenatchee. Good news for fires that could start but that is not going to be the case. As I was saying, a cold front will be moving through and we'll start to see our winds pick up into Friday, uh, especially just east of the Cascades. You can see we're seeing a little bit of activity and then into Friday afternoon, evening, we really start to see some of those stronger gusts. Our lows tonight are going to be into the upper 50s, lower 60, 60 in the valley, 59 degrees in Coeur d'Alene, 62 degrees in Omac, 55 in Colville, and 57 degrees in Bonners Ferry. And then our highs tomorrow into the 80s across the region, though there are a few 90s out there, 92 in Omac, 94 in Moses Lake, 92 degrees down in Lewiston, 87 in the valley, and 85 degrees in Coeur d'Alene. Then we just continue to heat up. 93 degrees is our high on Friday. Again, that's the hottest day of the week and the hottest day of the year so far before that cold front cools us down to 87. And then we are just back into the 90s on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, also in the 90s. And we're pretty close to that on Wednesday. So hopefully you got a way to cool down because it's a hot one. Now we'll send it over to Keith.